Have you ever seen a forest fairy? Leadbeater's possums are entirely different to your garden variety of possum. They're tiny animals that live in these ancient lush green forests and there was a time when they were actually referred to as fairy possums and in many respects I guess they're a little bit like Victoria's forest fairies because they're typically just glimpsed as these tiny fast moving shadows that flip from tree to tree in the twilight. This possum is so amazingly elusive that it wasn't seen for 50 years despite occurring on Melbourne's doorstep. So we thought at one point in time we'd lost this animal forever and what we're dealing with now is a second chance to save it. Well, one of the most distinctive things about Leadbeater's possums are their tails and they're a distinctive shape, so they're shaped like a baseball bat or a club and it's a tail that really is full of life and energy and conveys the mood um, or the spirit of the possum. The other interesting thing about their tails is they use it to carry finely shredded bark back to the tree hollow in which they construct these amazing large nests. And I've got a Leadbeater's possum nest here and they're basically a big heat chamber and so during the cold winter months all the family members will huddle together in the middle of the nest and all share heat and in so doing conserve energy. Well, one of the main threats, I guess, is the loss of high quality forest habitat for Leadbeater's possum, and in particular, the loss of those big old trees with hollows that the possums rely on for denning during the day. Now, it takes a eucalypt about 200 years to form a hollow suitable for a family of Leadbeater's, so that process doesn't happen fast. One of the other big factors is large fires. And in 2009, the Black Saturday wildfires in Victoria are thought to have destroyed about 45% of the high quality habitat for Leadbeater's possum. Well, the Zoo Victoria is committed to saving this you know, amazing and unique possum, and so what we're doing is initiating a captive breeding program here at Hillsville Sanctuary to make sure that we don't lose the possum entirely. The long-term goal is to be able to release the possum's breeding captivity back into the wild to help support those declining wild populations. Leadbeater's possum is entirely reliant on trees, and so thinking carefully about the timber and paper products you use can have a big impact on saving this animal. In particular, one thing you can do is make sure that you use recycled toilet paper and FSC accredited timber and paper products because that will ensure that the timber has been sourced from a sustainably managed forest and it will ensure that it doesn't come from the high quality forests that animals like Leadbeater's possum rely upon.